I've got a Star Wars fan theory. That Yoda's a puppet? He is? Hey everybody, welcome to On The Level. I am Kojak. And my name is Tech, and there's a lot of Star Wars theories out there, and we're gonna go through our top list of the ones we think are the coolest, or at least somewhat accurate. Let's begin. So number 10, stormtroopers did not kill Luke's aunt and uncle. In fact, Boba Fett did. I mean, it's possible. Yeah, well, it gives a whole new meaning to when Luke was, or when Darth Vader was saying no disintegrations, a meaningless line to someone that has five lines in a movie. Yeah, I mean, a big yeah. part of the theory is that stormtroopers never actually do anything that <laughs> terrible. Or anything. Or, yeah, they literally yeah. just miss all the time. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if stormtroopers always posted in misconnections? Aww. Aww. That'd be sad. <laughs> I was shooting at you in the hallway, and I just day. kept missing you, and uh, you were wearing buns. I'm Stormtrooper 6487632B. I actually really like this theory. I think it's yeah. pretty cool. I think that uh, it makes Boba Fett even more menacing yeah and and way cooler and give stormtroopers the credit they deserve yeah for sure which is none <laughs> at number nine han uses the force and he has no idea that he's using it how else is he so lucky yeah he's lucky yeah. he uh he basically can fly that ship better than a pilot mm -hmm. which as we saw with anakin he yeah. was able to also fly the pod racer and he just didn't really know he just kind of knew ahead of time what he had to do and what was going to yeah. happen so it does kind of make sense that, well, that can... flying through the asteroid belt with and what does C three PO say three three thousand seven hundred and sixty to one mm -hmm. or something some random number that I'm pulling yeah out of somewhere but at the same time I feel like if he actually did have the force yeah he would go to the dark side because he is definitely like he it's not so much that he has like fear but he definitely yeah. does not have control of his feelings no at all. He's all about number one. Yeah, and the whole point yeah. of the whole like light side, dark side of mm -hmm. the force is that you're supposed to be able to let go of anger, let go of your fear, and control your feelings. And I feel like Han doesn't, doesn't quite do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a scoundrel. So at number eight is Palpatine is actually Anakin's father. Dun dun dun. Blah. This coming off of the whole midichlorians exist in the force. Which. So it's whether or not you're accepting the midichlorian <laughs> thing. Yes. But um, Palpatine tells a story about Darth Plagueis' ability to manipulate midichlorians and create life. And Plagueis taught Palpatine everything. Which would make the whole virgin birth Anakin thing that happened yeah. uh, with his mother be possible and through, be, through Palpatine making yeah. it happen. Yeah, it's a shot. <laughs> Electricity to the belly. Uterus the force. It makes a lot more sense than a virgin birth. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I was drunk. I've never met the father. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely not a virgin birth. That is a mistake. Yeah. All she said is, I don't know what happened. Yes. And that can be taken however we want. Yeah, she said all of a sudden I was pregnant. Yeah. I've said that. It's the biggest kidney stone ever. <laughs> <gasps> Up at number seven is that the Star Wars saga actually takes place in our galaxy, in our world. Yeah. And uh, the reason that this whole thing can be explained is because of E.T. Mm -hmm. As we saw in the prequels, there were E.T.'s, more than one E.T. type of creature three of in them. the Senate. There were three. Yeah. yeah, three of them in the Senate. Not to mention the fact that during the movie E.T., when E.T. is dressed up as a ghost, right? Yeah, when yeah. When E.T. is dressed up as a ghost for Halloween and is walking down the street, E.T. sees a little kid dressed up as Yoda and runs to him. Yeah, and saying home. Yeah, saying home and being like, that's mm -hmm. that's someone that I know. This is one of the most valid theories, I think, it's, for me. I'm, I like this one a lot. Also, another explanation, or another addition to this explanation is E.T. is able to make the bike fly. And using the force, you can make things levitate. So mm. why was he able to do that? Also, mm. another thing I was thinking about <laughs> is his weird connection with Elliot. Huh. Now, if oh. if it's if it's in the same okay. world and yeah. he's using the force, think about the connection that like Leia and Luke have mm -hmm. together, yeah. where they can kind of feel each other's pain and talk to each other without actually being there. Mm -hmm. The same kind of thing happens between E.T. and Elliot. That's very true. But I don't understand the healing thing. That's the only thing. Yeah. I, like the ouch. I've never seen someone with a force heal. It just must be his racist thing. Maybe. Or like when racist thing. 
No, you said race is. Okay, okay. I understood you. Uh, good, good. Number six, the Ewoks are worse than anyone imagined. They were gonna eat them. Yeah. They were gonna cook them and eat them. They were going to be dinner. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that the stormtroopers didn't suddenly join the rebellion and give them their helmets. Probably true <laughs> as well. Uh, I'm, I would be incredibly concerned with what they're feasting on at the little celebration party after right? the Death Star is destroyed. Do I they mean, even understand that the Empire ended right there? Or are they just like, we have meat? They didn't understand a lot. They thought C-3PO was a god. He is. They don't show them eating, they just show them kind of dancing and having a good time. Yeah. But I'm wondering about the feast that occurred and if Han and Luke and Leia were like accidentally eating <laughs> Stormtrooper. Storm it's like taking a taking a Furby or a Teletubby and having it eat human flesh. La, 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 la. So our question for you this week is give us your best fan theories. Put it in the comments. Number five is kind of a weird one and maybe a little bit of a stretch, but it says that Emperor Palpatine was actually a hero. Which is a little hard to swallow. It's a little hard to swallow. A little hard to swallow. But this comes from like the lore of Star Wars that isn't actually in a movie. D decades right. after Return of the Jedi actually mm -hmm. happened, uh, there was an attack by this highly destructive race called the Yuuzhan Vong, and it was basically a terrible, terrible tragedy. And the theory is that the Death Star was actually being created for the purpose of protection and defense against yeah. this horrible, horrible thing that was yeah. going to happen. And his, his idea of killing thousands or millions was safer and better for everybody than the trillions of people that the Yuuzhan Vong have been known to kill. Yes. It doesn't say it's intended to destroy a planet, but it has the ability to destroy a planet. Also that, you know, I, it seems like if you're building mm. something that can destroy a planet, yeah. was he, was he going to destroy their planet? I or don't know. was it just have enough power to just destroy whatever is coming at it? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. hard to say. I want to know where all the materials came from. Yeah. It was like, how many planets did they just <laughs> blow up and just like, oh, there's my iron. They never show any like cooks making everybody the lunches right. that, are, that are working on the Death Star. Do clones eat? I don't know. I don't know. Is Probably. there a cafeteria scene? <laughs> a cafeteria scene <laughs> of a... One lone stormtrooper just doesn't fit in yeah. with the rest of the group. Uh, 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 <laughs> Why do I have the purple suit? That'd be hilarious. Be like, oh, Salisbury steak again. So up at number four, Chewbacca was a rebel all along. And this is in reference to him meeting Yoda in episode three. That's uh, one of the references. One of There's, them. There yeah. seems to be quite a few. I mean, he seems to know Obi Wan when, when he, they met at the bar with yeah, Han Solo. It doesn't seem yeah. very coincidental that he like ran into Chewbacca and was like, "Hey, I need a ship." Yeah. They even give each other glances and just kind of know each other. Like, yeah. It's, it seems like they've met before, and if he's met Yoda, he's probably, he's probably met, met Obi Wan. Some other people yeah. in the Force. So, I mean... Yeah. And then that also gives kind of credence to Han can use the Force, and that's why Chewie is with him. Mm -hmm. And this is complicated. It also <laughs> gives credence to the fact that when C-3PO is hurt, mm -hmm. Chewbacca's the one who tries to fix him and carries him around. Now, C-3PO and R2-D2 have been part of this saga For since episode one, yeah. like, through the whole thing. Anakin, I mean, built Anakin, Anakin built C three PO, so he's been a part of this yeah. whole thing. So it's very possible that Chewbacca knows who C three PO is, mm -hmm. has an affinity towards C three PO, and that's why he wanted to put them back together. Yeah, he doesn't seem like much of a tinkerer in his spare time. So. No, but although he is like kind of the engineer of the kind ship. of, I mean, he fixes everything except that R two D two can't, <laughs> and then Han fixes what Chewbacca couldn't. I like getting angry. Kicking stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. Force. Yeah. The, the, the force. Yeah, the brute force. <laughs> they didn't explain that one. There's no. the light side of the force, the dark it's side the of the force, and then the brute side of the force. Ooh. <laughs> it's not the smartest side of the force. Yeah. <laughs> Up next at number three, Qui-Gon Jinn is secretly a Sith. So he was, he was trained by Count Dooku. Yes. Right? Who obviously mm -hmm. ended up being... A pretty terrible person. Yes. And but, someone that he was, an, or he had an apprentice that went to the dark side mm -hmm. as well. And on, yeah. and on top of that, 
he was the one who was incredibly insistent on Anakin being trained. Mm, there's the one right there. Yeah, in yeah. fact, he, uh, in his dying breath, said, you must train him. Yeah. And that he's the one who's going to bring Malice to the Force. Now, whether or not he knew that he was going to go to the dark side or the balance to the Force was going to be a bad thing, Right. That's... Because he's either a really bad, dumb, blind Jedi mm -hmm. or a really smart, manipulative Sith. I don't want to believe this one because no. Qui-Gon Jinn's awesome yeah. and him dying at the hands of mm -hmm. Darth Maul, that whole situation, I just, I don't want to believe He just didn't that. have a chance to tell him. I don't want him to believe that he's bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm with you. Well, maybe Darth Maul had to kill him well, there can because only be there two. can only be two at a time. and. And he had to kill him. Maybe there that's the go. case. What if that's just a lie that the Sith have propagated? Yeah. <laughs> there could only be two. Number two, Tatooine is the last place Darth Vader would look for his son. Because he hates sand. He gets everywhere. Yeah. Ah. One of the most <laughs> annoying and worst lines of the prequels, in, in our opinion, yeah. is uh, Anakin complaining about sand. It's right after the pear scene. Yeah, right. it is right after the pear scene. Yeah. yeah. I heard it's sand. The best ten everywhere. minutes of every of any movie right there. Right? So romantic and wonderful. <laughs> but anyway, why? Well, there's a couple things. Yeah. He hates sand, and he doesn't want to go. And he doesn't want to go back there. Well, there's, there's clearly like no good memories. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. back there for him. Mm -hmm. You know, he gets ripped away from his mom, and then his mom mm -hmm. gets killed. So there's yeah. there's nothing there for him that's in, in any way good. So that's honestly, he started his journey to the dark side as yeah. well by going and slaughtering. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> so so the so the smartest thing mm -hmm. that someone can do to kind of hide Luke. Yeah. And the, and Luke's existence is to put him right in the place that he would never want to go. Yeah. And to put him right in a place that kind of is almost obvious that he would go. Hiding in plain sight. Yeah. It seems to work. It does seem to work. I'm right here. <laughs> you are? No. And at number one is the one we don't want to believe, but is way too convincing. Jar Jar Binks is actually a Sith Lord. Me so what? <laughs> <laughs> Me so no want to believe. One of the weirdest ways that they explain this is yeah. that his accidental fighting is actually drunken boxing. Yeah. And, uh, and the weird his part is... His clumsiness always ends up working 100% in his favor. Yeah, every single time. Yeah. Also, he ends up having a pretty major role in the Senate and everything yeah. out of nowhere. And how much he talks with his hands was yeah. another one that was just like constantly using force persuasion. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if you haven't read this theory, it is obnoxiously convincing. We'll put it down in the description for you to read, and it'll make you think. It does make this, like, cutesy annoying thing that yeah. was like kind of racist but made for kids end up a lot cooler made for racist kids yes <laughs> made for racist kids hey are you a child and racist then you'll love jar jar binks means i love you well that's it for this episode of on the level hope you guys had a good time and once again my name is tech and my name is kojak and we'd like to thank you for liking and sharing this with your friends also if you want to see a couple of other videos that we had done uh you can click right up there to see the video that we did on us reacting to a bunch of different star wars parodies yep. or you can click right there and see some gift ideas some star wars gift ideas and it doesn't matter what time of year it is just as long gifts as you, for just you. give people stuff or buy it for yourself. And if you'd like to stay in touch with us, hit that subscribe button right down here. We have two videos every week. So until we see you guys next time, geek, geek out, out and game, game on. on. Number five is kind of a weird one and maybe a little bit of a stretch, okay. but it says that Emperor... <laughs> Emperor? All right. Emperor. Emperor. All right. Can we just call him Emperor? No. All right. Emperor. Where are you, Emperor? Come here, Emperor. Come here. <laughs>